Hi Leo, this is your June monthly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this monthly reading. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll then do the X. Spread after that, we'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances. And uh, at the end, we'll get you an advice for the whole month of June. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love in June. Uh, we have uh, the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Fool. We have the King of Pentacles. Uh, we have uh, the Two of Cups, clarified by the Ace of Swords. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the Ten of Cups with the Four of Wands and the Queen of Wands. And we have the Lovers on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Aries and uh, Gemini on the table. I usually go with a king or a queen if one of both show up. So we actually do have a couple, right? The king of pentacles and the queen of wands. You're the queen of wands, I think it's a safe assumption. <laughs> right? And uh, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And we have the king of pentacles, right? Um, the king of pentacles, the third card from the left, so that would be the person coming into your life. Um, so it could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody with a lot of earth in their chart. If they're not an earth sign, they could be wealthy, very well established. Uh, they could be an entrepreneur or working for a financial institution. And here's the a bit of a dilemma for some. It's not a dilemma for me, because uh, the first card I came out is the Knight of Pentacles, which is clarified by the Fool. Some may say that those two are completely opposite energies, right? With the Knight of Pentacles, um, this is a very planned out, thought through offer, right? Because it's the most serious, the most grounded knight out of all four knights. The Fool, on the other hand, is could be considered as an opposite energy. With the Fool, nobody may even think twice, but just go for it. Uh, the fool could be a little bit of reckless energy, a little bit, no, let's just play it by ear and see what happens. However, in this case, what I think is actually happening is that this person is ready to uh, go all the way with you, and uh, it's not, it's going to be a very easy decision for them. Okay, they're ready to go for a long haul, they're ready to go, um, you know, invest into this, they are ready to do whatever it takes, they are ready to, to give, to share everything they've got with you, right? And uh, with the full card, they're just going for it because they believe you're the love of their life. It's going to be a very easy decision for them. I hope that makes sense, even though those two are opposite energies, but this person is prepared to do whatever it takes, invest into this, share everything they've got with you. That's how it feels. They're ready for, for a long term, and they're not gonna think it's not gonna take them that long, <laughs> right? I hope that makes sense, right? The Knight of Pentacles, yeah, you can always plan ahead with the Knight of Pentacles and with the full card. Uh, they just they they're going for it because this they will feel like this is the right decision. They will feel that you are the, the that they've met the love of their life. All right. Speaking of that, speaking of the love of their life, the lovers on the bottom of the deck. One of the interpretations of the lovers is the lover of your life card. All right. It's also a card of a choice. So yes, they are making a conscious choice by uh, jumping in, by uh, putting everything on the line, I guess. And um, the lovers, in my opinion, is uh, one of the best, if not the best, card in the tarot deck when it comes to the actual love connection between two people. It is a card of a soulmate connection. It is a card of uh, a twin flame connection if you believe in twin flames. And again, it could be the love of your life card. Also, in my opinion, the only other card that cl comes close to the lover's card in terms of the actual love connection between two people is the Two of Cups. And you see what we have right there where the candle is? That would be the Two of Cups. Okay, so you got both of them in the same reading. The, the Two of Cups is also a soulmate card. The Two of Cups is a card of unconditional love. All right, the Ace of Swords clarifying the Two of Cups is clarity. So again, this person will be crystal clear what you mean to them, <laughs> the lover of their life. And that's why they're getting ready to invest, to put everything on the line right away. All right, with the Ace of Swords, they will tell you. They will be very straightforward, very upfront with you. Because with the Ace of Swords, nobody is fooling or playing around, right? And by the way, the Ace of Swords often comes through as the word yes, wink, wink. Leo. 
<laughs> Speaking of the yes answer, in the potential outcome we have um, the Ten of Cups with the Four of Wands and the Queen of Wands. You're the Queen of Wands, right? And you're sitting right next to the two Commitment to Marriage cards. Two of them, not one, but two. All right. The Four of Wands is often referred to as the Eleven Eleven card. Right, to me personally, the four of wands always reminds me of an actual waiting. And the ten of cups is the happily ever after card. It's a family card. It's one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. So you do have emotional fulfillment, the happiness, love, and at the same time with the knight of pentacles, long term and practicality. And don't forget about the fact that this person could be the lover of your life. At least that's how they see it. And I think you will be on the same page with them. I think you will. All right, Leo, very interesting reading. <laughs> All right, really happy for you. Congratulations. Leo, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. Uh, we have uh, the Ace of Wands. Uh, we have uh, the King and the Queen of Cups. Both of them are clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. And we have the Six of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is such a beautiful spread. Leo, it really is. Look at this. The King and the Queen of Cups, two Aces, and the Six of Pentacles. That's just amazing. The King and the Queen of Cups, in my readings, are the ultimate love couple. <laughs> I don't know if you're, you have been the ultimate love couple. If you have, then it's going to be business as usual. But perhaps something about the June, you know, will make you the ultimate love couple. This is when people feel the same way towards one another. Two, both people are on the same page. Both people speak the same love language. Both people finish each other's sentence. You get the idea, right? The Six of uh, Pentacles on the bottom of the deck is a card of balance, equal, give and take, right? Partnership, equal partnership. And we got two Aces, the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. I think you're getting ready to start something, right? Aces are usually new beginnings, and uh, both of you are on the same page. The Ace of Wands is a card of passion, but you could be passionate for each other or passionate about some kind of a project that the two of you want to do together, or what have you. And the Ace of Pentacles clarifying both of you, yeah, go for it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a card of a golden opportunity. It really is. Whatever you're about to start, whatever journey you're about to embark on is, is a golden opportunity. All right? And, uh, yeah, it's, it's just such a great reading, Leo. Congratulations. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Leo, this uh, month. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have uh, the Two of Cups, the Queen of uh, Swords, clarified by Temperance. We have uh, the Star, clarified by the King of Wands. And we also have the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have um, Sagittarius on the table. I think you are the King of Wands and you're dealing with this Queen of Swords, right? Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. We all have both feminine and uh, masculine within us, right? But, uh, yeah, that's what we have. That's what came out, you know, right? You're the king of wands, they're the queen of swords. And it kind of feels like there's going to be an opportunity for you to patch things up, right? There's two cards in a tarot deck that could be interpreted as cards of healing. Both of them are on the table. Temperance and the star are those two cards. The star could be an Aquarius. If this queen of swords is an Aquarius, it makes total sense. Right? But, uh, yeah, those are the two healing cards. And they both are major arcana cards. And those are the only two major arcana cards on the table. The Eight of Wands um, on the bottom of the deck could be a card of travel, a card of communication. All right? It could also be a card of Cupid's Arrows. And uh, the Two of Cups, the first card that came out, is um, a soulmate card. One of them. There's multiple soulmate cards in the tarot deck, and that's one of them. Okay, so I think it's a chance of patching things up. I don't know what you're going to do, but um, you will have an opportunity at some point to patch things up. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Leo, in June. We have uh, the High Priestess, Justice, uh, the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Nine of Cups, and we have the Three of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, I don't think Zodiac signs really matter. Uh, this is a very specific uh, reading, Leo. Uh, this reading is about some kind of a decision or a verdict that's going to go in your favor. Okay? If you're in the middle of a lawsuit, or if you will be filing for a lawsuit, or um, you will have your victory. Okay? Um, it could be a decision to grant you something, to give you something, something perhaps you thought you were entitled to. Um, it could be 
a government organization giving you something, assigning you something, something among those lines, right? Justice, right there with the Ace of Swords, uh, it's that decision. So justice could be literally a government organization or it's just something that's going to go in your favor, right? The High Priestess to the left is a card of something hidden, something unknown. So perhaps that's the uh, energy you're going to be sitting in or have been sitting in. You don't know how it's going to go. Or perhaps they're making a decision behind closed doors, right? In the, uh, there could be a jury, there could be just a judge going back to their little room and uh, you know making a decision. And that's why you're not aware of it. Okay, but again, yeah, I think it's going to go in your favor. You see how in, in the justice card, the person in the justice card is holding up scales and a sword, right? And uh, the ace of swords right next to justice is exactly the sword that the person in the justice is holding up, right? The three of cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of a celebration, all right? All right? And as I was clarifying the ace of swords, I simply asked what's the... Uh, What's the outcome? How will Leo feel about this? And the Nine of Cups showed up. The Nine of Cups is a card of a satisfaction, okay? And it's a card of a wish come true. So I think you'll be definitely satisfied with the outcome. So hang in there. If you still need to do something about it, keep doing this. Don't just relax. <laughs> keep, keep doing this and uh, you will, you'll be satisfied in the end. I hope that makes sense. All right? Cool. Here's an advice or a word of wisdom for you, Leo, for the whole month of uh, June. Uh, we have the Queen of Pentacles, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. Uh, we have the Five of Swords. Uh, we have uh, the Queen of Wands, clarified by the Ace of Swords. And we've got the uh, Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Uh, if, or rather when, this Queen of Pentacles shows up or shows back up, and offers you something, Leo. Um, shut this person down, turn them down. And uh, I think the advice is to do it in such a way that this person never ever shows their face again. I know it sounds kind of brutal, but <laughs> that's what I see here. Right? The Queen of Pentacles, the first guy that came out, could be an Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. And it kind of feels like you already know this person. They're coming in with the Page of Pentacles, right? If they owe you money, they may start paying you back. But the Page of Pentacles, it could be paperwork. They could give you something, right? And uh, I, I'm very questioning, I'm really qu questioning this person's motives. Um, I think this person's got an ulterior motive, or they're not telling you the whole truth. I think they're either trying to whistle their back into their li into your life, or something something is just wrong. All right, and uh, the rest of the spreads, the remaining three cards, uh, right, uh, the five of swords, the ace of swords, and the four of cups. This is you rejecting them, and uh, it's in the matter that uh, if this person doesn't get the message across the first time when you get when you're being nice to them then uh, make sure they get the point across by by you know insisting i guess in a way that they may not even be happy about the fact that they showed back up that's how i see it right the queen of wands is classified by the ace of swords the ace of swords is a very sharp object <laughs> okay with the ace of swords this is you being very honest very straightforward with this person, the Five of Swords to the left uh, from the Queen of Wands. This is a card of when somebody slams the door into another person's face. Okay, and the Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck is a card of a rejection. So you see, the universe just wants you to be crystal clear about not inviting this person into your life or not inviting this person back into your life. And But I think they will try with the Page of Pentacles. It kind of feels like, like I said earlier, they will um, try to whistle their back in or to try to kiss your butt or something like that. <laughs> All right, so that's one interesting uh, advice, but that's what we got. All right, Leo, so yeah, that's what I have for you for this reading for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Leo, have an amazing month.